I put the headphones on my head, uh, all the CDs and the books were, and uh, my life was kind of changed. Hey, this is 50 for 50 with District and Hennessy. My name is Denise Chyla. Let's do it. Possible question. Uh, under 3,000. Three stacks. I like the way he tells the story. I like the way he's influenced by Neo Soul and R&B. I like the way he is not constrained by the rules of the genre. I like the way he is anxious and clearly mentally ill. I like the way he doesn't think too hard about what he's writing until he writes it. And then afterwards, I really connect with his anxiety about the expectations that people have about him and his work. Um, right now, he's going around the world playing the flute in concert, and I think that that's really special to me. Um, he's one of my favorite people, and I love his vulnerability. Lauren Hill, yeah. I think that people celebrate Lauren Hill for everything but her bars. I think they see her as a public figure, they see her as a spokesperson for something, they see her as a singer, they see her as a sign of the times, but they don't see her for her writing. And there are so many conspiracy theories about whether or not she wrote this or that or the other, and I just, I love her. I will never not love her. Um, so yeah, I do. Even though it's Lauren Hill, I think she's underrated and I think this new generation of like people don't understand why we love her. So, yeah. Up. <laughs> the the up theme song from the film. <laughs> cry every time which is not maybe hip-hop but definitely is <laughs> mop in lucan library next to the super quinn having my librarian show me any up i put the headphones on my head next to the fantasy section uh, all the cds and the books were and uh, my life was kind of changed because rummy ma is a national treasure I guess West Coast. I never had an emotional connection to Biggie or Pac. I ran away to to a different kind of bounce just because I needed change. I didn't connect to it emotionally. That was not me. Um, and it's taken me a long time to admit that because I think that you're definitely penalized a lot of the time for saying that you don't fall into the Big Ear Pac dichotomy. Anything by Buster Rhymes or Missy Elliott made an impression on me. Deep impression on me. Uh, best music video. Are you familiar with Janelle Monae? She has a music video for a song called Many Moons where she plays like an android who is like uh, repeating, like she plays different characters with the same face uh, because she had this uh, album called The Arc Android where uh, she was just like, trying her hand at a concept album. That was really ambitious and I really, really loved it because I've never seen a black woman at the forefront of like sci-fi, you know? It's always like Star Wars and white men. So like for me, that really hit my heart, yeah. You know, for a while it was Cashmere Cat. I liked what he was doing with Ariana Grande at some point. I really, really liked that. I reverted to something interesting, right? Like, I really love, I really love J-Rock, man. I really love J-Rock. I really love Jay Dilla. And I really love Wajid from Detroit. Kendrick, because he doesn't try. I'm not attracted to anything else, um, and aesthetically. I like to look at people who are confident and he's confident because he wears what he wants to wear. You know what? Uh, Kendrick's control verse, it really shook people. And it had people talking for a long time and it made people who weren't even involved in that situation feel called out. 
And I live for a moment where people feel called out and forced to contemplate themselves. So that control verse for me, um, I had to reevaluate myself. Um, it, like I'm one of the people who felt called out. Like I, I was like, yo, yes. Um, you know, he said, um, I, he said about Drake, he was like, I, I'm gonna make you not want to hear a new rapper verse from your favorite rappers or some, something like that. And I was like, do I want to be that guy? I think I want to be that guy. <laughs> I love for you all, but I'm trying to murder you niggas. Trying to make sure your core fans never heard of you niggas. They don't want to hear not one more now, no verb from you niggas. What is competition? I'm trying to raise the bar high. Who's trying to jump and get it? You're a better off trying to sky die. I love it anytime where rappers remind me that they're human that they are aware that they are lyrically in competition with people sometimes um, and that they have messy emotions. And when we lose that, I think that we lose a lot and we become too corporate um, and too sterile, like hospital sterile, because like we're trying so hard to make money that we've lost ourselves, you know? Snoop Dogg, because I think that he would make me laugh all day. Snoop is really, really uh, secure in himself. And he has had the privilege of like outlasting a number of people because he's able to transform with the times and grow in ways that feel genuine to who he is. Like as many permutations, whether it's Snoop Lion, whatever it is, you know, whether it's his gospel record, his reggae record, his hip hop stuff, like you see the same person. Um, and I, I, I think I've always wanted to know why. Rira. It's the original, analog MC before the whole digital, before we got to the guy, to the point where you can't tell individuals, all sound the same old, same old, different name though, sick of that flow, give me that mic back now, get down, calm the tone, you can never wear this crown. You know, I remember a time when it was not kosher to be a rapper in Ireland. Like, it was embarrassing. People would embarrass and shame you for wanting to rap and call you all sorts of things and tell you all sorts of things about how you are reneging on your Irishness. And he held that space for a very long time, a very long, like really faithfully. Um, and they called him a mix between uh, Coolio and Christy Moore, I remember. And it was like intense. Want to collaborate with Remy Ma one day in my life because I think she is, yeah, everything everything that you're looking for from a dude who raps, I think she has, and I don't think people recognize how serious she is. In many ways, she's somebody who I want to be one day. Remy Ma is someone who I deeply respect, I deeply love, and I hope one day, if she likes the music I make, that we get to do something together. I like open mics. I think you discover people. In terms of known and named artists, I went to a J. Cole gig once that blew my mind. It was in Dublin about five years, six years ago. J. Cole Forest Hill Drive is like one of the best concerts I've ever seen because like he had a whole production around what he was doing that made me feel like I could really connect with the story that he was telling. Hey, I'm Denise Chyla, and this has been 50 for 50 with Hennessy and District Magazine. See you soon.